morning students today we will read out chapter 2 from your first flight first flight textbook in english for class 10th so chapter 2 the name is you can come to page number 16 chapter 2 nelson mandela long walk to freedom this is an autobiography means written by nelson mandela himself so let me tell you about nelson mandela Nelson Holy Schlossla Mandela Yes this is Holy Schlossla He was the first black president of South Africa This chapter is the autobiography of Nelson Mandela on his life experiences This is only one excerpt from his book Long Walk to Freedom This chapter starts with his recalling day when he was actually been selected as the first black president of south africa so what was the day then so this starts with a very uh, rememberable date that is 10 may 1994 and when he was selected as the first black president of south africa so the ceremony took place in amphitheater where it was in the union building and pretoria was the place that was the place of inauguration so this chapter begins with some of this his quotes and lines we will discuss the summary in detail so he told that it was a very nice autumn day and his daughter was with him to support him and her name was zinani so this chapter starts with the quoting lines this chapter is too long first we will discuss about him discussing about the apartheid means discrimination based on racial discriminations there were they were partials with the people that were having dark skins means in our india where, where we have seen untouchability same as was the discrimination racial discrimination means discrimination between white and black finally they rose their voices and then these voices were heard and uh, then nelson mandela won 252 seats out of 400 in a democracy this is the biggest achievement and then ceremony took place on 10 may 1994 kindly remember the date it is very important so let's go back to that historical day which was 10 may 1994 what happened that on that day world leaders and many dignitaries from all around the world had gathered to witness nelson mandela become the first black president of south africa it was the largest international gathering ever held in south africa the ceremony took place in the union building in pretoria which until recently was exclusively for white people only as i have told you there was racial discrimination between white and black so they were not allowed to use the government buildings on that day it took its place in history as the site of south africa's first democratic non racial government after being sworn in Mandela spoke to the gathering as well as to the world. In his speech, he spoke of the honor accorded by the dignitaries and world leaders to South Africa's new found liberty. Not long ago, the country suffered from extraordinary oppression, but from this racial discrimination, a society was born which would make the world proud. many brave men and women those who were born from this oppression had fought and achieved freedom nelson vowed that his country would never see one man oppressing another after this mandela in this chapter also remembers how after his speech the chief of the police and military saluted him and pledged their loyalty the same men would have arrested him not long ago 
and this is a fact to be noted he was jailed for 30 years the same man would have arrested him not long ago he remembers feeling overwhelmed thinking about the decades that had gone by where one of the harshest most inhumane structures had been created in society one section the whites has systematically oppressed another inflicting grievous wounds on the country but this practice had also created brave patriots men of courage wisdom and generosity it was from them that nelson mandela learned the meaning of courage he learned that courage was not the absence of fear please note down this is very important what is the correct definition of courage it doesn't mean that absence of fear it is not that these people did not feel fear rather they overcame fears because they believed in an idea mandela also understood that no man was born with hate he was certain that if someone can be taught to hate they can be taught to love as well in this chapter mandela also talks about the twin obligations this is very important what are the twin obligations according to mandela in this chapter mandela also talks about the twin obligation means two obligations of a man in his life first towards his family and the other towards his country so these are the twin obligations which is very important question however the conditions in south africa did not allow a man to fulfill both at the same time means they can't be because they were not having freedom that time he himself at first did not choose his country over his family he also did not choose his path to freedom at first he recalled that as a child he was free to do as he pleased if he obeyed his father and the rules of his tribe as a young man he longed for freedom for himself freedom to earn money and start a family then he saw that the people like him were not free they were not allowed to do the work they want to do because they were completely oppressed by the white people it was then that he filled with the desire to achieve freedom for his people so they could lead lives of dignity and self respect and he joined the african national congress it changed him from a frightened young man to a bold freedom fighter from a law abiding one to an outcast but he knew that he could not stand idly by when his people and their freedom was threatened after all restrictions for any one of his people meant restrictions for him and mandela also believed that the oppressors were as imprisoned as the oppressed what he believed that if he is restricted to do any work means all the other people are also restricted to do that work so after all restrictions for any one of his people meant restrictions for him so mandela also believed that the oppressor were as imprisoned as the oppressed let us understand it means those who oppress others they are also victim of hatred freedom therefore did not just meant the freedom for the oppressed it also meant the freedom for the oppressor the oppressor was just another man imprisoned by his hatred to others so according to mandela every one be is having the right for freedom everyone mandela believed was deserving of freedom so this is the chapter i hope this is clear we have discussed the detail summary here i wish you would go through this video carefully and then please read out the chapter carefully find out the question answers which are written in the text as well as in comprehension check thank you for the day